Welcome back to part four of coloring Fear Ace of Spades. This time we'll be coloring his wings and doing the background and other special effects. So I've laid down the flat colors on his left wing now and notice that I have also added rips and tears to his feathers. I have a bad habit of actually drawing him wrong, drawing him in perfect feather when he's actually a character that doesn't take care of himself and has a lot of broken, damaged feathers. So I have to select each feather now and put in the shades, the gradient shades, and already it's amazing what a big difference this makes. Now going back to Fear's uh, ratty feathers that I always forget to draw, um, yeah his personality type is INTP. And INTPs aren't known for being neat and orderly or paying attention to what they're wearing or being aware of color coordination or anything like that. So Fear's no exception. He doesn't notice that he's a mess. His wings still work, so that's all that matters as long as he can fly. And technically he doesn't even really need his wings to fly because he can take on many forms. And it's just his preference. Okay, so we're finishing up here with the shadows. And now I've got to go in and fix the few little uh, corner bits that the selection tool couldn't reach to it manually. Okay, now we're going to go over it again and do the light sections. And this is a little more difficult, so you can see all the mistakes I keep undoing until I get just the right angle. And with the mouse, this is a lot harder. Now, because the light source is going to be coming from behind him and from all around, the light is actually changing. So it's not just coming in from on top, it's rotating around his wings. And you'll see how I have to add the light and the shadows, respectively, rotating in opposite places to each other. Okay, now we get the color, the outlines. One of my favorite parts, I've picked a darker version of the green. And there we go. But it was too light for this particular one, so I picked it again. And now it's just what a difference from the, the dark black lines he had. And here is the whole thing with the light lines turned back on. And here it is with the other wing all finished up. I didn't bother to show it because it's more of the same. Now we're going to do the background, and I'm going to change this gray to a black so he stands out more, and he's going to be on a storm background, so I figured the contrast has to be at the highest. The black really makes a difference, and now I come in with a cloud brush, and this was difficult because, again, without the... Uh, tablet, it's difficult to do it without with a mouse that has no pressure sensitivity. I had to keep changing the size of the clouds manually. Now this looks nice, but it's too monochromatic for my taste, so I decided to add some blues instead of keeping this just gray. It's getting a little better. And I wasn't really happy with this. I kept turning the brush. Still too dark. It looks cool. So now I'm working on the lightning instead. And what I'm doing is I'm putting, I'm multi um, duplicating the layers and coloring them and then blurring them, making them bigger and bigger each time so that it has this glow effect. So this uh, dark blue color is behind the light blue and then the white on top to make it look like hot lightning. Okay, so I've added another layer, and I'm adding some blue clouds, because I'm still not happy with the background looking just like shades of gray. But it's not looking so great either, as it's looking, some of the some of them are flat. 
So now I'm messing with the color changing the background and finally what I did was change the opacity on the clouds in the foreground and I finally settled on a green on top of blue. But now he's not reflecting the color that's in the background so I'm adding a wash to his wings but I couldn't decide on what color. Here I'm trying a dark blue then I tried a green then I went back to the sky of blue again which is my favorite and just seems to work well for me doing the same thing to the other side and lowering the opacity on the layer quite a bit. So now he looks a little better. And time to put something behind him because I'm still not happy with it. Now that's pretty cool, but not quite right. So I added a blue light burst and white on top. Made them two separate layers, but still I get too much blue. I love blue, but I use it too much. So here I am trying different colors and I really love the pink. Now the only thing is, at first I didn't like that the pink hides the pink glow of his eyes. But now I've come up with a whole story for this, maybe. When he casts his lightning, um, there's actually a pink flash that's similar to the glow of his eyes. Alright, so here is the final product. I am extremely happy and proud of this one. I could have done more still, I could have made the lightning a little better, but I wanted to wrap this up. Yeah, wow, he's gorgeous. Alright, so next time for part 5, I'm going to be showing how I make him into a card and place him in the game. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this. Des, signing off.